eye drops for allergies. And I'm using these because uh, of the inflammation. Now the inflammation is more than likely because of my allergies. And I do have an allergy to the chemicals in the face powder and the eyeshadow. And I was attempting to try it. I wanted to try it. I haven't worn it for years and I wanted to try it. <laughs> and I knew this, I knew this was gonna happen. It's like a, a complete cycle with me. It's like, it hasn't changed. So I still have the same allergy to that type of stuff. So powders, I'm sworn off. I'm not gonna do it anymore. Now I've got one eye done, and or one eye done and one eye not done. And that's because, uh, I don't know, why not? <laughs> why not? Anyway, so this one is bruised and it's going down. But I did put the drops in. I have to be careful with these though because it does say on the container that if you have high blood pressure or low blood pressure that you have to be careful with how much you utilize these. Now, I use Visine occasionally. Not often, but occasionally I use it. Um, I do seem to be having uh, reactions to mascara lately, so I might limit the mascara use. And I might just, I mean, it, I don't have mascara on right now. And I've been using the um, castor oil growing my eyelashes and my eyebrows, and it's working. So I don't have any mascara on. And uh, I mean, it looks, it looks fine. But here, you can see it's white, it's white. So if I had put a little bit of eyeliner on that, it would look like I had uh, really long eyelashes, right? So I just wanted to show you the difference that I don't need the mascara and I don't need the face powder, but the inflammation has gone down. Now, I don't know if it's from this because I just did this. So I give it like a half an hour before it reacts. So there is still a little bit of swelling, but not much. But the redness is because I was doing the old fashioned remedies and I had a tea bag. <laughs> <laughs> on my eye and I would let it uh, sit there until the swelling go down and like it would be hot and then the tea bag would get cold so I think that's what causes the swelling to go down not that it's the tea bag or the the ingredients in the tea bag it's the hot and the cold and that's what I've been doing all morning that's what I've been doing and it's working it's working now if I had an eye infection my eye would be discolored and my my eyes aren't they're actually uh, very healthy looking and they are white almost whitish blue tinge it's got a little bit of a blue tinge and I've seen that with people who are extremely healthy so but it does say that if you have high or low blood pressure that you need to watch how much you utilize these and I do have um, high blood pressure. This is just uh, an eye infection. I do think it was an allergic reaction, as I said, to the aluminum, aluminum or the other um, powders that are in the, the makeup powder because it was a burning sensation the whole eye and that's where I had the powder put. Um, it was a burning sensation and then I, I got this bubble. So I really truthfully think that that's what caused it. So I'm, ha I'm having to be very cautious on what makeup I use. Now think about this, right? I've detoxed my body. So I don't dye my hair. I don't use shampoos with sulfates. I don't use makeup with a lot of chemicals in them. Uh, I don't use powders, anything that absorbs into the skin. So I have basic basically detoxified my body quite well. However, however, I, I still have um, allergies if I kind of, if I, like I said, I tried the eyeshadow. I tried the eyeshadow and of course my eye started to burn. Now this was the only eye that, and the reason I can say that is this was the only eye that I used the powder on, the eyeshadow on, and this was the eye that had the infection. And then what happened, it was itchy and so I was scratching it and I think I may have um, caused this bit of damage here, okay? So I was, I was messing with it. And then I had, you know, the massage thing and I, I put it here to get rid of some of the swelling. And the, the swelling actually moved, it moved around, it moved around. So I knew it was a pocket of fluid and that's a pocket of fluid that is caused by inflammation. And so thank goodness, and I thank the big fella up above that it's not worse, but my eye is not infected. You see the, the color, there's no pink eye or nothing. It, my eye is fine. Just this one little spot and inflammation. So, And it, it was a nice powder, and it's a beautiful face powder, and it's got the, the matte finish and everything. So it's, it's nice. So someone is going to utilize it, but it won't be me. It won't be me. So I'm not going to do it anymore. But as you notice, one, um, I think it said two or three drops. I put two drops in. I put two drops in and you notice 
from the last video I did that it the swelling has gone down and I have no makeup on at all except for one line of eyeliner right there not even on the bottom I have none on the bottom just on the top so it must you know the the eyeliner it does um, have a tendency to kind of like what would you call that like leak down here so yeah but um, one one drop that's it and uh, I don't even think I have any eyebrow pencil on my eyebrows have grown back tremendously look at that using the castor oil yeah and with my lighting it looks like I'm yellow <laughs> I don't have jaundice I don't it's just the lighting in my apartment I have um it's a bruise I do have a bruise I have a bruise from messing with it but it <laughs> It is what it is, right? I mean, I did have inflammation, so I'm not too concerned about that. But uh, it is going to heal. I know it's going to heal with the... Uh, sorry, I can't get that late to stand up. Um, it is going to heal well. I can see, obviously, just with, uh, just with the fact that I put a few drops in, and it's basically healed up pretty good. Now, I have no idea why my camera is showing my face as yellow. I have no idea. So it might be, um, I mean, I do have the Christmas tree on, so maybe it's a light from the Christmas tree, but I will, I will try to get that off there. Okay, so anyhow, it is what it is. The truth of it is, is that I'm just lucky that it's not worse than, um, than it was. I know that it's an allergy, and so I'm not too concerned about it, but I am not using powdered eyeshadow or powdered makeup anymore. If I do it, anything, it would be a coconut-based um, blush if I need it. And you know what? I don't need it, and I don't care. I, I'm like, I'm 64 years old. I don't really care, to be honest with you. I don't really care. I look fine just the way I am. The, uh, the good Lord put me on this earth. I look like this. This is what I'm going to look like when I leave this earth. So, you know, it's it's not going to, it doesn't affect me in any way. I really don't care. But this is healing, and I'm very glad it is. That is not a lump. That is wrinkles. <laughs> it is wrinkles. And um, because the... Uh, the skin is healing on top of wrinkles, you'll see like a, a shiny spot there. So it looks like it's swollen, but it's not. And obviously, I do not have an eye infection in either eye because my eyes are, are white. They're, they're white and they have a bluish tinge to them, which is healthy for me. So I'm not concerned, but this stuff works. It really, truly does. It works. The one that I normally use is um, Optichrom. Couldn't find it. And this little baby here, this little vial of medicine, cost uh, almost 20 bucks. So that was 17, 17. Thank the good Lord. And I thank the company that made this because even though it's expensive, you could bring it down a bit, it did help and it will continue to help. So.